the car, check your climate control. These things like the brake. And this one, the climate stuff does work, but I don't have any display. So that needs to be taken out and fixed. Okay guys, what we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be taking this apart so I can solder the joints in there and hopefully making this gauge in here work. So first things first is you gotta go find the small socket to, when you flip it over, take them four screws out, okay. Um, there's two different types of boards in these things, so I'm gonna see what board I have. Uh, make sure you're working on something that's soft because you really don't want to damage the front of this. So when you set it down, it's nice to have it on something soft. Um, but you do have to watch static because you're working on electronics. There's precautions you should observe while doing this. Um, you know, ground yourself, etc., etc., etc. Um, if you're not comfortable working on electronics, then don't do it. Send it out, get it fixed, and you should be good. Of course, be careful not to break stuff because it is all plastic. It'd be nice if I could have, could have found a deep well socket or, you know, a little screwdriver with a socket on it, but I couldn't find any of the ones that would fit this because it's a, this socket's a, 3 sixteenths is what I'm using. I don't know if it's the right socket or not. I just found a small socket in my toolbox that fit it. Or I should say I found a small socket that worked. Okay, so now we got the screws out. Now we can go ahead and carefully open this thing up. So... Now we're gonna have to watch because of the cables. The board we are working on is this board here on the rear half, I believe. From looking at pictures when I looked online, it was the ones that where this ribbon cable's in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and take the screws, the four screws out there. We're gonna set the other four screws off to the side that held it together so we don't get them mixed up. And I'm going to go ahead and take these four screws out now. Sorry guys, my arm's in the way. Just trying to get her opened up there. Okay. Now this one should. There we go. What I'm doing there is I'm just lightly pressing on the pins that run through the plastic so they don't get stuck. I'm kind of just moving the board around with my hand trying to get it to drop out because if you don't have them even, it won't drop out like so. Now the ones that we're looking at from everything I could read online for the lights, this is one style board where they are all in the middle the next style has a couple over here, and I think they're like this way. It, it depends on your board style. Uh, this car is a late 2000. I think early 2000s were different. So, so what I'm going to do now, is I guess you could leave that, that connector in there if you wanted to. Or you can disconnect it. I just want to do it so that way I have my board separate. From everything I've been reading, it looks like the ones you're going to be concentrating on are them guys. These guys right in here. These six. So, I'm going to get my loop out, take a look at them, see if I see anything wrong that I can point out to you guys, and we'll go from there. 
All right, guys, I don't know if I can really show you this. Um, when I was looking, I could see what looks like a hairline crack on a couple of them. Um, I'm trying to see which ones they were again so I could show you guys. Um, they weren't very pronounced. I just noticed when I was looking. So I'm gonna see if I can show you guys. We're looking at that uh, 241 that's upside down on the inboard side towards the other 241 that's upside down. You can kind of see it right there on the base between them. Um, it's really hard to see. It almost looks like if you were, let's say, welding, you could assume it, but you can see it in that corner um i'll see if i can point it out later to you guys but so it does look like there is a couple cracks on these things so i'm gonna go ahead and get my soldering iron out and i'm gonna just touch each end and try not to screw it up so i'm not a electronics expert by any means and i'm not the best at this so we're gonna try and we're gonna see if we can break it. It's about it. Okay guys, I got my soldering iron hot. I'm gonna just, I guess I'm just gonna try to touch them. I hate doing these little chips like this, I really do. I don't mind doing bigger joints that it's not a big deal, but these little chips, I'm just not a big fan of them. So. Good idea when doing these, just to have something to hold the chip in place. So let's take a look with the loop and make sure it's good. Okay, guys, I've gone through and I reflowed all eight of them in there. So hopefully now my lights will work on that. Um, I am not the best solder, so I had to touch them sometimes multiple times. Um, you should use flux when doing it. I got a flux solder. So I don't know if that's good enough or not. I'm not an electric engineer guy. I'm a mechanic. So we're going to go ahead and put this back together and maybe give it a try this afternoon in the car. And I'll let you guys know. So what we're going to do in reverse steps to putting it back together is first things first, we're going to take this. We're going to plug the top board back into the bottom board. And then we're going to... Try to see here. I think I gotta take it like that. Set that on that side. We're gonna drop that back down into there. We're gonna try to get the pins back through that, like so. And we're gonna take our four screws and hopefully not drop any of them under the board. Try to put them back in them corners. not over tightening them because we don't want to break the board we don't want to strip the plastic out or any of the above things it seems easier than what it is as you guys can see Again, there we go. Okay, go up here. We're gonna put these back here, top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back. Okay. Now we're going to carefully flip this back in and try not to pitch, pinch any of them white wires. Just like that. And we're going to take the four screws that we took out from that. 
we're gonna go ahead and put them back in. Actually, I think that was off. I'm gonna take them and put them like so. Got that one started, and we'll go over here and get this one started. screws are a pain if you were changing out face plates we would have taken it out more but my face plate is in good shape and I don't need to change it out like I said you could send this out to be repaired if you wanted to there's a bunch of different people that do do it so use whoever you want I have no reference because I haven't used anybody to repair any of these so I don't know who's good who's bad so all I'm doing is just snugging it down until it bottoms, like so. So hopefully later today I can put it back in the car. And I hope everything works perfectly. That would be awesome. So there we go. Control it back together. Hopefully it will work. And um, we'll find out later. I did get that fixed at least. So, so that is now working. So that's good. Nice, bright. So that seems to be working. Guys, if you like my projects like this, with this car, please like, subscribe, follow, comment. I'd love to see it. Share. Um, you know, I want to see my channel grow, and without you guys, it won't grow. So thank you for the support. And uh, keep an eye out for future projects and more uh, continuation of this guy. And I'll be getting back on the 79Z28 shortly. Um, I'm trying to get some stuff squared away with this car and work and all that stuff. So this will be... Once I get this going, then I'll probably be getting back on.